built the largest um, uh, nuclear reprocessing plant in a, under a single roof uh, anywhere in the world without the use of a mobile telephone. When I talk to the young apprentices who start in our, in our organization every year and say this is what we did you know, in the late 80s and early 90s before desktop computers, before laptop computers, before mobile telephones, they give me a strange look as if it couldn't be done. The computer systems that we were using were all standalone. There was no such thing as networking um, to any degree at all. So we were actually doing things isolated, then we were moving hard copy information around an awful lot and having to communicate with our regulators through the post. But in terms of moving liquids around, uh, the equipment didn't use uh, in the main any mechanical devices. It were all fluidic pressure sensing devices. So you had very high technical uh, performance ejector systems, which are common, uh, but nevertheless, there was lots of uh, technology applied to the ones that were used in Thorpe, which will be uh, promulgated around the rest of Sellafield's new facilities. Sellafield built the first computer aided, you know, pipe bending machine because the complexity of the stainless steel pipe work in Thorpe. So that wasn't available. So we actually said, well, well, we'll have to develop it ourselves because the alternative, you know, to mechanically um, uh, bend large stainless steel pipe work was just unfeasible on that kind of scale. So there was real, pi don't use the word pioneering lightly. There were pioneering things done in Thorpe to actually build a facility of this scale. From the Magnox experience, it was recognised things go wrong and things break. So where that learning was appropriate and applicable to Thorpe, there was spare capacity built in. Thorpe uh, was built with decommissioning in mind. For example, the mechanical handling end of the facility, the, the craneage will take apart the plant, so you don't need to put in anything to take the, the uh, plant apart. There are additional um, connections on many of the tanks so you can get right down to the heels. There are spray rings in the cells so you can clean the cells out. There was an awful lot that was done as part of the decommissioning, uh, sorry, as part of the uh, design to be able to decommission it much more effectively than anything else. I think if you, if you were to compare Thorpe to some of the older facilities, you would say that, uh, that there's a lot less hands-on activity. That said, just because we happen to have a control room which is very complex and sophisticated, it still takes the skill of the operators and the maintainers to make sure that the, the complex facility is able to function correctly. Uh, so, yeah, there are aspects of, of the Thorpe process which are more of an art than, uh, than just a, a simple operation.